and let her talk to me like that, I would never in life let my ex talk to you in I that didn't way. I let her talk to you in that way, baby. Y'all was having a conversation. It got, I asked y'all to have a conversation, and it got disrespectful on both sides, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I Okay, guys, welcome, welcome to Storytime with a Grown Woman. Swag and the W is silent. We still got Mama over here, y'all, and we're going to get her perspective along with my perspective on this. Now, first off, I'm going to say this. This is why men don't like to be honest with y'all women, because when they do, this is how you act. And then y'all wonder why, he lied, why your man lied to you. He lied to you to keep from having to argue with you. Because when he trying to tell you the truth, you don't believe him. And then you want to start arguing. Men just want peace. And ever since he was honest with Shayla, it ain't been nothing but drama. A bunch of arguing. That is why they lie to y'all. Because you can't handle the truth. That's simple. You feel like men lie because they don't want to argue. Uh, uh, they, the, the woman won't believe them if they tell them the truth. Just say with you, have a guy ever been honest with you and you were still mad and fussing and arguing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you were, you were part of the reason why men don't damn tell the truth. That's why they lie. She a part of the reason, y'all. She a part of the reason, just like y'all. <laughs> that is it. So let's carry on. And what I find disrespectful is you letting her come back into your house with this little dress on talking about she gonna be back over here. Mike, you're in a relationship with me. So what in your mind thinks it's okay for your ex to be coming over here talking about, oh, well, I'm gonna be over here. I've known Mike longer than you've known hey, him. Like, what? Well, uh, uh, uh. You act like I told her to sell this stuff. I didn't know she was going to have a little dress on. I know she, was, she, she had it on for the day. She wasn't putting the dress on to come talk to me. More than likely, Dominique put that little outfit on because she knew she was going to um, be in, the, in front of Shayla and Mike. And the reason she put it on is to get this reaction. Mike was honest. And let her know that, you know, somebody had come over there and helped him out. But she is wilding out. And my the thing about this video is she wants to give Mike an ultimatum. How are you going to tell somebody to stop working with their business partner when that's how you live? This is your money. Like Dominique brings in good clients. They make good money together. That's how he lives. Now, he have a couple other businesses. But at the end of the day, that, that's how that man lives. And she wants to give him an ultimatum. But let's carry on to see what she says. All right, I got to do, and I'm going to talk to her too, is just have a cordial conversation. You know, that's, this is personal. This is love. This is you, my baby. You know what I'm saying? But that's business. Dom brings me pretty much majority of the money I'm making. She is the one that contributes to all of that. Exactly. That's what I said. Dominique has uh, great connects. The money that he's making with her is good money. And for this helper to say, I don't want her over here. Why you got to do business with her? BS. BS. She's bringing in money. Exactly. She is bringing in the money. And that's money that he's going to be paying her bills with. And since you're a businessman, you should know about boundaries. You can do business with somebody and they don't have to be into your intimate space. You can do business with somebody and let them know they cannot disrespect your spouse. Hold up, horse. Hold up, horsey. Now, spouse, you ain't nobody's spouse. She is a girlfriend. She ain't nobody's spouse. Nobody's spouse. She a side chick and a girlfriend. She ain't no spouse. Y'all, where she get spouse from? Huh? Where she get spouse from? Oh, Lord, this girl surprised me by the day. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I, this, is my, this is my office. I don't have an office space, baby. I don't. This is my office space slash home. So, you know, I have business meetings here all the time. Not just Dom. It'd be guys coming over here. Everybody coming here and do business. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Ain't nobody finna be paying no two, three thousand dollars a month for an office space when he live by himself. 
that that's his office space that's where everybody come to meet for business just like with anthony what everybody goes to anthony's home or everybody goes to wayne's home or everybody goes to row wherever they handle business that's where they go the only person who has the office space is chase so she needs to just stfu the bottom line is, I won't disrespect you. I'm not cheating on you, nothing like that. And I'm going to talk to her about how she was talking to you. And the next time, if we, if we can get to that point, I just ask both of y'all to just kind of just have a regular cordial conversation and we keep it that way. I agree with Mike. Mike, that is like, Mike is handling this situation so mature. It's unfortunate that it's got to be with Shayla because you don't know the background of Shayla. But it's unfortunate that he is, you know, showing a different level of maturity and simp simpy. But at the end of the day, I like the way he's trying to handle this. But again, it goes back to when a man try to be honest, try to handle things mature like an adult. This is what he gets. I know that's right. Don't do that because, honey, it's M.O.B. Money over bitches. Ain't nobody trying to give up nothing for no woman we ain't trying to do that and i hope he ain't that stupid to want to be with her so bad because he's been doing some real stupid simpish stuff i hope mike ain't that stupid to where he wants to um give up doing business with dominique just for for shayla like mm-mm mm-mm so she want him to give up, give up his money, his main source of income. Well, he's making his making money. He's making his money. But I'm saying that's what she want him to do. Like mm -hmm. you wouldn't do it. No. You would you ask somebody to do it? Like if you was in that situation, you would not give him the ultimatum to quit his quit working with her. No. Okay, he Mama said I bought that money. It won't be money. <laughs> money over bitches. <laughs> Mama say we bought that money. <laughs> that money. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought mama perspective was gonna change, y'all. <laughs> mama said, F all that. <laughs> we trying to get this money. <laughs> We're gonna look at some of the comments and then I'm gonna meet y'all in the comments. So <laughs> Shayla, let's make one thing clear. You would never be anyone's spouse. I know. I don't know what made her say spouse, y'all. I have no idea. When is Shayla going to realize that she is not the prize? Well, uh, it's kind of hard to realize that when you got everybody paying your bills, Arby pays to give her money, uh, Anthony is paying the bills. Mike has offered to pay her bill. So it's kind of hard to not feel like you're the prize when every ninja in your life is paying all your bills. You got to be doing something right. If every dude in your life is paying all your bills, you don't really have to work. Chump7974, I don't agree with what you said. Um, he put his daughter out when she talked to him like that. Keep that same energy. Well, first of all, this is his kitty that he's getting his daughter is a disrespectful ass little heifer who came into his life whenever she was grown so kitty over daughter it wins every time because she his daughter don't get the she don't get to come and be disrespectful to him Everybody in his circle knows that Blake is disrespectful to Mike. So, no, we ain't going to keep that same energy. This is a whole different type of comparison. Comparison. This my kitty that I get. She is my daughter. That's true. But we ain't really got no ties like that. They didn't. He, he wasn't in her life from day one. So, I don't agree with that. Okay, so, this individual feels like um, Shayla's and Mike's entanglement is going to end in three to five skits okay okay all right so so far i don't see anybody who's saying mob money over bees uh, this is as close to what i see and this is individual says that's an easy decision by shayla so that's kind of like saying mob but i'm like i'm that's my take on it that is my take like shayla you can go you just had a baby she just had a newborn baby that's not his 
It don't belong to him. He ain't got no ties with her, never but that wet wet. Because apparently it's good because everybody paying for it. <laughs> everybody paying for it, so apparently it's good. So that's all you got to do. Get your money. So guys, answer this question. This is what we're going to have. Um, this is what we're going to talk about in the comments. Do you think what Dion Washington uh, 4585 said is true? That their relationship is going to be over in the next three to five skits. Because, hun, it wouldn't even take three skits. It would have been that same goddamn skit when she told me to choose my money over her. But we all um, give it three to five skits. So I'm going to meet y'all in the comments. Let me know. Is that about the time range or time frame that we can see this relationship ending? Or should it have ended immediately? I'm going to meet y'all in the comments, guys. And if you haven't, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification, guys, so you know when I upload a video. And as always, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.